Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun video, we are at a place that is a hive of activity in Burlington, North Carolina when events take place. And we are at the Burlington City Park in the heart of Burlington. If anyone is curious, when we went to the historic depot in downtown Burlington, this is around maybe one mile, mile and a half from that location. As a matter of fact, the road out here behind me, if you would take this road and go all the way down, it would dead end at the depot on Main Street. But really, really cool. I've been coming here for years and years and years, and I'm really excited to be back and just walk around on a beautiful February February day we are having some unseasonable warmth but let's get the tour started and we'll walk around Burlington City Park let's go and there is some beautiful decor as soon as you enter the parking lot for the Burlington City Park you see a beautiful sign there we're gonna stay on the path there is signs out saying that they've just planted grass in places so we're just gonna walk around and the mainstay and the centerpiece for the city park is this historic Denzel carousel. It was just recently refurbished. It was a multi-year deal and I think right at a million dollars or multi-million dollar project for the city, but it got restored and it is also very historic and they've got this beautiful new shelter. And this is my first time actually here since it was completed. They did run it some during opening weekend but you see right here here is the hours and we're going to get in close hopefully you can see that this beautifully detailed now this is not the original home of the carousel the carousel used to be in the carousel shed elsewhere on the park grounds which I'll show you later on in the video but it's been immaculately restored it was taken apart piece by piece and sent back to the factory and they've taken great pains to make sure that this thing is going to be showroom condition for years to come but this is the centerpiece of the Burlington City Park now spinning around from the carousel you see the shelters these are peppered around the city park where you can rent these for events this one has restrooms attached to it some of them are just more open air with a grill but panning around there is a playground for youth to play on and you can see the vastness of this park and you see another amusement park right here is the little airplanes here this is like i said a hive of activity and this location is actually where i done my very first official gig as a pirate so it has a lot of nostalgia memory for me but really really cool here you see welcome to the city park amusement area park hours sun up to sundown and i think that's kind of the general rule of thumb for everyone around here in all the parks but really really neat got kind of a duck figurine pilot up there and they've got the ride rules and the restrictions and all and how many tickets it cost i remember back when i was a kid all the rides here cost 50 cent to ride and you could usually get a wristband i think for like four or five dollars back then when i was a kid and you could ride all day for one price coming up now on the little miniature boat ride of course it is drained we are in winter so there is no water in it now but it will be filled up with nice blue water when the park is open for the season and I think this ride here is a mainstay of parks and carnivals and theme parks worldwide you see this kind of ride at about every kind of event area but really really neat I have fond memories of this ride in particular and ringing the bells here on the boats of course I always wanted to get in the blue boat back there but there used to be a guy and I'm sure he has passed on now because he was elderly when I was coming here as a kid and everyone just called him captain because he wore a captain's hat a captain's shirt you know the uniform for a sailor and he treated the job with the utmost respect and was kind to everybody he met here is a little go-kart themed ride that's got like horns and sounds for each of the automobiles here and as you can see they are on a predetermined loop here this was added around the time I was aging out of rides like this but I remember riding in the back seat with my little cousin sitting in the front of one of the vehicles I can't remember which one it was but again a lot of great memories here and here is the original home of the carousel they now have it just as like an open-air shelter and we will walk in it and the reason it was moved 
was because there is a creek back here and you'll see the bridge here in a minute and the city said it flooded and to my knowledge i never seen water here i know the little depot back behind us or a little farther ahead of us did flood at one time but i never remember seeing the actual carousel grounds flood but i'm glad that they kept this here would be room for a ride or like a little vendor event like you know like pop-up shops that happen seasonally really really neat and right here for a first time visitors this little l-shaped bench right here will look out of place this was the original home of the original playground equipment when i was a kid and it was filled with sand all over and it had just a nice structure for kids to climb on and play on but they did leave the benches here and i do believe if i recall there was a fence back here as well but moving right along the grounds are kept up year round and they have always been beautifully kept and it's always just a fun safe place to come when they're having events here at the park and always just a great time to socialize with your community up here is the Bronson City Park tickets and concessions I remember as a kid getting several snow cones here the blue ones and you get your tickets there for the rides let's see the rides have gone up to a dollar and the carousel is a and the train is a dollar fifty wow like I said back when I was a kid all the rides were fifty cent a piece but I ate many a snow cone out of that concession window and we will move up to the other main attraction of the city park and one that was oh so nostalgic for me but before we get there I want to show you this this used to be a water fountain and I have a picture in the family photo albums of my pops dad so that would be the grandfather on my father's side picking me up to get water out of the water spout here back when I was no taller than it of course I'm way taller than that now but just a nostalgic bit of memory for me seeing that water fountain there and along with the Denzel carousel this is the other main attraction for Burlington City Park and it is a miniature train and of course you guys know I love trains this building right here seen me frequent it so many times there you see the open air coaches and everybody it was always a rush to get to the back one I unfortunately never got to ride on the very back seat it was just that popular to watch everything going away as opposed to approaching if you were up near the front of the train but we'll go up here and try to get a good look at the engine here you see what the little train is actually based on here a little bit of history on it but we'll go through there is three of these open air coaches here for you to ride in one blue ticket required per ride so that'd be a dollar fifty per ride and the train travels its tracks three times it'll go in three loops and on the third loop it will stop and let people off and get new passengers here we see the train and again back when I was a kid hopefully it's coming in but back when I was a kid there used to be an engineer here and he dressed the part and he acted the part had the train whistle and all but it is packed away in a shed right now and there you see the narrow gauge tracks and it just goes on a loop all the way around the park it crosses the creek twice here and on the back side and there is a tunnel and it is traditional for everyone to scream as loud as you can when you go into the tunnel you always know when the trains going through it because you can hear the screams all over the park it's just some kind of fun that everybody can have now as you see here it says thank you for visiting the city park amusement area please come again soon there is several miles of trails going this way all the way along the back side of the park and more shelters and nature areas but really really fun we're going to take one last look at the train before we proceed on to the rest of the park you can see 
the rails here and again once the park opens for the season they will clean all this up and make sure the train is running properly but you see the fence here that goes all the way around the perimeter of the miniature railroad and that's not only for safety to make sure no one gets on the tracks as the trains coming by but during Halloween now they haven't done it in the past few years I hope they bring it back this year they will wall up this area with tarps and two by fours and black everything out to where you cannot see on the inside of the train loop here and do a haunted train at the dark in the park city park event for the halloween season and it was an upcharge of like five dollars but it went back to funding everything and they would get local people to like dress up as ghouls goblins and monsters to have just a good family friendly scary time here and it's just one of the unique things about Burlington city park that i remember fondly growing up but we will continue on we have walked from the miniature train station over here past the ticket concession booth and we have kept on the path and we are now proceeding to the back side of the city park and it's not built up with amusement rides there is two locations I do want to show you we're going to cross the bridge here and the back area of city park is more related to nature tranquility relaxation and taking the various paths that go over more bridges and crisscross over the creek or stream here if you want to call it that and this has always been an iconic spot for photos if you're here with friends or family just to have the backdrop of the station or the carousel behind me but keep in mind that this stream right here or creek is the reason that the carousel was moved because it actually flooded all the way up to the old carousel location and that's the reason that the funds were raised for it to be moved back there in its new home on higher ground now I don't recall that ever happening forgive me I'm sure since they said it happened it did happen but I do recall seeing pictures and coming here and seeing when the stream again Creek flooded and reached the little train station and I have seen pictures of that flooded so it just goes to show how much a little stream or Creek like this can affect the landscape of a place that you've came to for your whole life but we are going to finish crossing the bridge and I'm going to show you the other two locations that I was telling you about and we will continue on. Here is the beautiful stage. Again, we're on the back side of the park. And again, we're not going to explore all the park, but there's nature trails all back in here. But you see they have bleachers like at school. They have picnic tables. And during the summer months, we will do music at the park where bands will come in and you bring your lawn chair sometimes the city will bring in some food trucks if you haven't eat to where you can enjoy a meal and good music but I have seen some bands perform here and they are always amazing and the setting in the venue is always amazing and beautiful they put this auditorium I call it this stage up when I was around 14 or 15 and then they started hosting events here but really really cool cannot wait for summer to get here and listen to some good live music with my community members and family we have stepped off the path over there at the stadium or the event area where the bands play and we've come across to the other area that's a main draw for city park when we have an event and that is the softball field now Burlington is unique and we not only have 4th of July fireworks out here in this baseball field where the community gathers for a huge event with food trucks and all, but we also do Halloween fireworks, one of the unique things in our area, and we call it Dark in the Park. And again, that is where I've done my very first quote-unquote official pirate gig at. I showed up unannounced, and everyone loved it, and I probably took over 150 pictures that night with people, but really, really cool and a great event and I don't know if the tiered ground here is man-made or it's just a natural occurrence of the landscape but when we do fireworks out here they will be families gathered here in the hundreds if not right at a thousand on blankets lawn chairs and all just to enjoy the fireworks against the night sky they will shut off all the lights when the fireworks start going off but really really cool way 
to be with your community members and make great memories that last for years and years to come. And that is going to wrap up the video here at Burlington City Park. Again, I didn't go on all of the trails here. There is a bunch of trails snaking their way throughout the back of the park. There's more bridges to go over and see the creek and all. But really, really cool. It's a great place to bring your family and friends and loved ones, especially if the rides are open, the carousel. You can hear the carousel music and the train whistle throughout the whole city park and just people laughing, having a good time, listening to music and everything. Again, as you can tell throughout the video, I've got a great ton of nostalgic memories here at Burlington City Park but I hope you have liked this video if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour and remember if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the Artisan Pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon